had a perfect game two outs into the seventh inning and that young man must feel really nervous right now Kyle Higashioka is making his major league debut behind the plate catching Chase and Shreve and Kyle was called up uh, when they put Gary Sanchez on the DL and we should have more information on Sanchez on the post game because Christopher Ramad the Yankee team physician was going to look at Gary and look at the test so might have a more definitive time frame on Sanchez's injury Beckham takes a strike from Shreve. What's it feel like, Flash? First major league game behind the plate? I was so nervous I couldn't throw the ball back to the pitcher. That's how nervous I was. But I'm thinking about this young guy who spent so much time in the minor leagues. Now you're catching at Yankee Stadium on opening day. Drafted in 08. Paid his dues. And really he's become an offensive player now. He's always been a good catcher. But over 20 home runs, 80 RBIs. All that hard work paid off. Ten years in the system, ten years in the minors. Actually signed back with the Yankees after they let him go, and then he turned into a hitter, as John said. And that kind of matched up with pretty good catching skills, and all of a sudden he became somebody the Yankees really regarded uh, very, very well. And you see Romine switched over to first, giving Carter the rest of the day off. And he said what made him better as a hitter, he stopped studying tapes of himself. He started studying, studying tapes of successful major league hitters, what they did, how they approached at bats, you know, their, their setup at, at the plate. And he took and stole a little from everybody. Osmosis. Yeah. That's what I do at the bar. I belly up and look at the other guys, what they're drinking. Fly ball, right center drifting back. Ellsbury, he's there. Meredith Moragovitz has more on Higashioka. Well, Michael, what he really did was make some mechanical adjustments as well, and it all focused with him barreling up the ball more often with more consistency. He said power was never the end goal of all of it. It was just a consequence of the adjustments that he had made. Certainly happy that he was able to gain a little bit of power, but since then he has been consistently hitting with power, and he feels as though that's going to continue because of those adjustments. Here is Dickerson. He's going to have to wait probably for another day to get his first big league at the back, but he's getting his feet wet here today. You know what I found? That, that when you're a defensive catcher in the minor leagues, all these coaches tell you all you have to do is hit 250. All you have to do is, and you start thinking almost a, a defensive thought up at the plate and just trying to hit for average. And, you know, he's gotten, Kyle's gotten to the point where he's turning it loose a little bit and probably freed him up mentally more than anything else.